Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Elizabeth and this is a weight loss update. Six months! So I have been working to lose weight for the past six months, which is half of a year. I can't believe it. So I'm already at the six month point, which is crazy. I'm going to give a quick update on just kind of my stats real quick and what the last six months have been like. And then as the title suggests, we're making some changes here on out going forward. And if you watched last week's uh, weekly weight loss update video, then you will have seen that I am changing things up. I'm going from carnivore to a program called Trim Health mama I want to tell you a little bit about what that is what you can expect from this channel why I chose it as opposed to something else or anything else and where I hope to go from here so let's just talk real quick about what kind of six months have been like so all the way up until month a little bit past month four and a half not quite five months I was doing strict carnivore and I found that um, I was having some health issues and that was affecting my ability to be able to continue doing the carnivore diet I have documented all of that at nauseum and so if you're new to this channel and you're just catching me for the first time in this video my journey over the last six months is completely documented week by week and month by month updates and so all that information is on there if you want to kind of figure that out I'll link some videos in the description and so for the last month I've been kind of like low carb is what I would call it and kind of just doing healthy eating low carb still focusing a lot on protein and now I'm making the change to Trim Healthy Mama which is not considered purely low carb it's more so like carb appropriate and carb conscious, but it's not um, low carb per se. And so I will not be putting myself into ketosis and uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. So where I'm at for six months is I'm still down like 35 pounds. So really from last whole month's update, I haven't lost anything. And that's kind of part of my reason of transitioning now to trying something else. I really feel like I need kind of a plan, <laughs> you know, to know what I can do and what I cannot do. So in this month though, I felt really great. I felt fantastic and I was able to start exercising. So I have been going to exercise this whole month pretty much consistently and regularly. I go three times a week right now. I'm going every other day during the week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I'm going to work out at a gym. It's like a private gym and I'm super enjoying it. So yeah, it feels good to be getting some exercise in. However, I do want to get into a rhythm of something where I'm seeing the weight consistently come down because I really am not a whole lot less than I was like three months ago. All that 35 pounds was lost mostly in the first three months, maybe a little bit longer, maybe into three and a half months and not so much in these last three months. And so I'm jumping in between like 30 to 35 pounds down right now. It just kind of fluctuates depending on the day, but I definitely want to get the scale moving again, if that makes sense. So that's where I'm at. My shirts are getting looser though. I know I'm building muscle, you know, from exercising. I understand all of that. Um, at some point though, the scale is going to have to move and the weight's going to have to keep coming off and I can't wait to see the shirts keep getting even more loose. So I'm working on that and I'm excited about what we're going to move into. So I had the option to continue with ketovore, kind of keeping in some very choice carbs, but keeping it still extremely low carb and doing it, you know, just enough carbs to feel good on it. I did that for a little while and I'm just finding I'm not losing weight doing it that way. And then I also found that not being super strict carnivore anymore, I kind of wanted to branch out a little bit more. Like I went ahead and like I had a salad and I was like, okay, this is delicious, you know? <laughs> and we do know that you can still lose weight and eat salads. So yeah, it has felt very good to me to add back in some carbs at this point. Now I could do keto. So I could still be, you know, low carb or keto and I could be still having salads, you know, and be kind of a step even beyond like keto for. So the reason I'm not choosing that at this time doesn't have anything to do with a dislike for keto. It's more so just that I don't truly know a whole heck of a lot about keto. I don't want to track my macros and I don't want to learn all the numbers and things that I should be shooting for at least at this point where I'm at right now. And the reason for that being is because I know of this program called Term Healthy Mama and I've used it before and I love it and it was what I was going to go to for maintenance after carnivore. And so it's a little bit sooner than I was hoping. I was hoping to lose a little bit more weight on carnivore but we're just gonna go ahead and do it a little bit early. So I did this a couple of years ago and I lost about 50 pounds one summer 
just during the summertime and going to exercise at the same time. I know I will have to exercise with this plan to get the weight to come down. So what this plan basically is, is that you're putting protein at the center of your meals. And so you're being very protein conscious and you're meeting your protein needs. And the protein is like the solid backbone of your meal. And then what you do is that you, when you're trying to lose weight, you don't combine your fats and your carbs. So you wouldn't say, for example, have a piece of toast with like an egg slapped on top of it and a bunch of butter. You That would be like combining your fuel sources and then your body doesn't lose the weight as fast. It can't burn through all of that by the time it's time to eat again. The goal is that if you have just a certain kind of meal, like a more fatty meal that you pull really back far on the carbs or vice versa, where you have you know some pieces of toast or something but you don't have the butter with them and you're you're separating your fats from your carbs a little bit more your body can burn through that faster and it can then burn through your own body fat and it has worked tremendously well if you google it it's got a whole huge following because there's so many moms losing weight on it it truly is an amazing plan and then when you reach your goal weight you can modify it a little bit to where you don't have to separate your fats and your carbs so severely and you find out kind of where you can start combining Combining it and still maintaining your weight you find out what works for your individual body and then it's something you do lifelong because you're still eating in a sense like normal food not normal like we think of on the standard American diet unhealthy normal you're still eating healthy food but you're just eating whole foods you're eating fruits you're eating vegetables you're eating lots of protein you're eating grains or carbs in a very um, appropriate and conscious way for your body you know you're eating sprouted grains different things like that that are um able to be digested easier so you're definitely doing it in a conscious way you're not just going out and getting a big mac you know <laughs> with a bun or something like that but it's still kind of a lot of different range of foods it's still kind of like normal food and so it's really a lifelong plan it's just a healthy eating plan that you learn you eat it for life you can eat it while you're pregnant you can eat it while you're breastfeeding it's safe for all stages of life. My teenage daughter does it with me, uh, or while well, we're starting, so she's doing it with me. And you can do it through menopause, and you can do it, you know, men can do it. So my husband has done it with me in the past. Here's the thing, there is a learning curve with it. And so I'm gonna be making some video series on it, just kind of walking you through the transition and teaching kind of how to do it. Um, I'm definitely open if you're doing it too. I'm open to help because I'm a little rusty. I'm kind of learning as I go too, but I have done it before. I do know the plan pretty well and I'm really excited to try it. I had such good results with it before that I really do want to give it a try before I do keto and I'm hoping not to have to transition to something else like keto. I'm hoping that I can do this and that this will keep um, working and the weight will keep coming off. Now, they do give a disclaimer that this is a slower weight loss. It's not, you're not going to just see the weight just fall off like crazy um, for most people. And I tend to be a slow loser. <laughs> and so I do not anticipate it just falling off like crazy. But yeah, I'm hoping to see a little bit more progress. I don't want to get on here on month seven and be like, yeah, I lost nothing. So I, I really need to kind of figure that out. One thing that I'm also planning to do and I'm looking into and learning about is protein sparing modified fasting. Um, it's a more recent thing I've kind of discovered. I don't know a whole heck of a lot about that either right now. I'm still in the process of learning how to implement it, but um, that is something that I've been considering combining with Trim Healthy Mama and doing a day of that like once or twice a week and just seeing if I can kind of get the weight to go a little bit um, more efficiently than I've been doing so far. And I think actually that Trim Healthy Mama has something very similar to protein sparing modified fasting in that it's called a fuel pull, a fuel pull day where you can do a full day of eating fuel pulls where you basically pull back on your meals where you're not having a fuel source of fats or carbs and you're doing a lot of protein. And so I'm going to be kind of comparing the two of those and learning about the two of those, how they're similar, how they differ. We might do a comparison video on them and we also might do a full day of eating each one and just kind of see. And we're going to be testing which one works the best. You can even a Trim Healthy Mama, there's a, a whole thing called a fuel pull cycle and you go through, I think it's like a two week cycle and you cycle through the different meal types and you do it in a very specific way and it just helps the weight keep coming down efficiently. So I do have some options in my back pocket to keep the weight coming off besides just the regular plan that I'm hoping will make this kind of an efficient process. But it's a very, very enjoyable way to eat. It's a very um, healthy way to eat still, but it just, it has, I've never felt more in control of my food choices than when I eat this way. It's just 
very enjoyable and my relationship with food is very very normal um i can tell when i'm hungry i can stop when i'm full i'm in touch with all of that properly i just love it i love it for so many reasons so i'll probably be making a video on that at some point soon reasons why i love trim healthy mama um i really really feel good about this way of eating and so that's why i'm giving it a shot and i'm trying it and i'm i'm not just like transitioning to something like keto i figure because i already pretty much know what i'm doing i i just at this point don't have the brain power i think to learn another or new method of eating when i have had this in my back pocket and it worked so well before so I'm hoping it works well again it's definitely a couple years later but I'm excited I'm excited what I'm transitioning to and so I'm definitely still very much so focused on losing weight committed and dedicated to this so I know that it's could be kind of disappointing to not be putting out carnivore content anymore I definitely had to work through a lot of emotion about it I I did I really felt disappointed and I didn't show a whole heck of a lot of that on camera but um yeah, it was it was rough. So anyway, we're dusting ourselves off or we're moving on or continuing to be committed to losing weight and we're going to get this a shot and see how it works and do this together. I'm going to be making a lot more exciting content for you though because there's a lot more range of foods that you can eat and there's just an endless amount of ways that you can implement this plan and it's going to look different for everybody but I really want to try to capture some of it to help give ideas because I think it's something that's going to appeal to a lot of different women whether you're trying to lose you know the baby weight or you know you're trying to lose weight while you're still nursing your baby maybe you're pregnant and you just want to eat healthy for your baby and you're trying to maybe not gain a ton of like unnecessary weight or go crazy you know you're just trying to be health conscious still you know it just works for every stage or maybe you're in menopause and you're looking for something that will actually work but still be like gentle on your body and that you can feel good about and so I I'm just really excited to be able to show that so I'm gonna be making a lot of videos so I'm gonna be making a video a weekly weight loss update still and I'm gonna be just telling you kind of how it's going and how I'm feeling and how much weight I'm losing and what what's going on and then I'm gonna also be trying to do a weekly eat with me day where we make the food together I show you how I do it and just take you kind of along just for the eating portion of the day and we just go through kind of an eat with me I'm also gonna be showing you my groceries I'm getting every week so you're gonna see and know everything that I'm buying for my family keep in mind I am feeding a lot of people but we are going to be going over cost of things and we're going to be going over what I'm buying each week and what it actually looks like. And so I'm really excited to be able to show that to you and make some of that content. And then occasionally I'm going to throw in a fourth video every week where we talk about the plan, where we talk about reasons why I like Trim Healthy Mama, where we talk about how to implement Trim Healthy Mama, where we talk about maybe mistakes we're making on Trim Healthy Mama, where we're talking about the different meal types and how to implement them and where we're reviewing their books and just whatever content that I can make about Trim Healthy Mama that might help you guys implement the plans successfully too, then um, that's why I'm doing all of this is to help kind of spread the message um, of something that I have really, really enjoyed in the past. So I feel good about talking about that. Also, I just want to give a disclaimer. If you're doing a different type of weight loss, you know, I'm sure I still have some carnival people watching, you know, if you're keto, if you're doing some other kind of plan, you know, that's okay. Please do watch, watch any of the videos, but watch the weekly weight loss updates. Still keep interacting. Please still, you know, stick around and uh, watch and see how this journey goes. And I don't know. We'll see what the future holds. I'm hoping this is going to um, be effective. I'm hoping this is going to go well. Um, I don't know. I'm tired of seeing the stall, though. I feel like I'm, I've been kind of stalled for three months, and I feel like I need to get things kind of kicking again. So, But I'm glad to have the exercise kind of squared away. That was my next step, was to get that like situated and going and committed to that. And now I've been doing that for the next month. So really, this was a pretty successful month just in and of itself to be doing that, because the shirts are still getting loose. Some of my underwear is getting loose. <laughs> some of my pants are getting loose. So everything is definitely still like restructuring, and good changes are happening. But um, yeah, definitely got to keep onward and keep going. And so I'm so excited to see what the next six months are like. So I'm probably going to commit to this for another six months and do this plan. And, you know, we're going to see what weight I lose and where we're at. We're coming up, you know, into the holiday kind of season this fall. And there's going to be Thanksgiving and there's going to be Christmas and my birthday is in the fall. And so we're going to see 
uh, how this plane works with all of that, but there's definitely a lot of leeway to still be able to enjoy your food and um, do it in a way that's still healthful and nourishing to your body. And so that's what this plan is truly all about. So I'm excited to share it with you and I look forward to the future and I look forward to more happy videos of losing a lot of weight. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for sticking with me. Take care. Bye-bye. start to sail along these ocean waves. Nobody knows, nobody knows how to find us. It's turning out to be a perfect day. I just want to leave our normal lives behind us. So let's get lost out here.